This is JP with JP is sick of crazy. Just gonna give you an update video of what's been going on. I haven't made one in about two weeks. So here's my 30 gallon hex tank. Um, as you can see, the red zebra and all the yellow lab electric yellow labs are in there that I had in a 55 gallon tank. Um, and it just went bad. I bought a metal stand from Petco and ordered it. Got delivered in a couple days, but I set it all up. Brought my 55 gallon in, drained the 55 gallon, put the yellow labs in another little tank that I had. Well, I drained it and got it set back up. Brought the 55 gallon into my room, put it on the middle stand. I got the middle stand because I wanted to bring the fish tank into my room, have these into my room. Okay, got the, the stand set up, got it put in the room, got the 55 gallon in the room, got it all set up how I wanted it, and proceeded to fill it up with water. Well, I got it filled up about three-fourths almost full with water and it just cracked and I have 55 gallons of water on my bedroom floor okay but real quick as you can see it's just real basic in there because I don't plan on having them in their lawn driftwood a couple rocks and a couple of plants okay um, but anyways back to the stand I'll show it to you in just a minute I'm explaining exactly what happened busted I had 55 gallons of water on my bedroom floor and it just was bad so and if you see clothes and it's just a mess in here I need to pick up my room just disregard it okay um, so over here is the metal stand that I had bought and, okay and as you can see right along right here from here to about right here the whole tank wasn't touching but it was in the back so I couldn't see it and what happened was the water got got fit the tank started getting filled up put a lot of pressure on there and there was the tank wasn't touching from here to here in the back and just put so much pressure that it pushed the glass away from the from the silicone which caused it to crack which caused 55 gallons of water to go all over my floor okay I had and it was right there too right where it's at had my TV and all my shit plugged into there it was horrible um, my computer right there it was horrible water it was all over there I just put I just put a bunch of towels, clothes, grabbed my blanket, threw it on the floor. It's bad. It's like a waterfall coming out of the tank. Um, it's all right anyway. So, because I needed to stand for all my snake cages, which my my uh, ball python shug is out. My red tail boa is out. It's at the water bowl. Um, my ball python shug. He's a little sketchy. And it never bit me though. He's a great guy. You get him out the, get him out the cage, and he's good. Um, and I got a basic Okatee corn snake in there, which is always hiding. It's not even in the rock. It's just under the, the little chips in there, and just stays underneath it. As soon as I put it back in there from holding it, it just burrows right into there. Um, I'll do an update video on all them though. While I'm holding them, holding them, show them to you a little bit better. Ball python and the red tail boa are both het for albino, so. I ever wanted to breed them, which I doubt it. Um, I could get some albino hatchlings. So, but anyways, back to to this. It's horrible that they had to go from a 55 to a 30 hex, which I kept it from everything going up real tall because Electric Yellow Labs do like to swim and gave them some room to swim up and down, which they do a lot. It's a little bit later, so they're just chilling. I notice in the mornings when I turn on the light, because I'll turn off the light shortly and go to bed. Then when I wake up, turn on the light, they're all over the place, up and down, up and down. Um, oh, and then one other thing, in my Jack Dempsey tank, <clears throat> the 55 gallon, I have a video posted on it. Um, one of my female Jack Dempsey's had a bunch of fry. They just hatched today. I seen them this morning, and just a bunch of wigglers right now, tons of them, okay, just hatched this morning. And I was thinking about doing like a contest video on to someone win some win some of the Jack Dempsey fry um, the male that I have is has electric blue in them so I'm sure some of the fry will be electric blue um, I'll pay for shipping it doesn't matter I'm thinking like six to twelve of them I think I should do a, a contest video so some one of you can win some electric uh, or excuse me Jack Dempsey fry let me know I'll do it I'll pay for the shipping it's no problem I think of something simple for a contest and I'll pick a winner or randomly pick a winner and it'll be all good. But just let me know if you'd like me to do that as soon as I get this 
or these this that red zebra and the electric yellows into a 55 gallon or, or get that 55 gallon resealed and put back up and them into it I'll do an update video and you'll see some update videos or videos on my snakes I should say anyways have a good night deuces